Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the difference between IDS and IPS. Both are important parts of network security. Let's discuss one by one. IDS intrusion detection system is a passive monitoring technology for detecting cyber security attacks on a company. IDS analyzes network traffic for possible dangerous activities such as malicious attacks and violations of security protocols. If a problem is detected, IDS creates an alert that notifies the administrator to investigate the incident and take appropriate action. IDS can be classified in a couple of ways. One of them is its deployment place, which includes network-based IDS and host-based IDS. Network intrusion detection system monitors packets moving in and out of a network. It monitors all the traffic to catch security threats. This option is preferred for enterprises because it provides much broader coverage. Host intrusion detection system monitors a single computer. It might monitor traffic but it also monitors the activity of clients on that computer. For example, it might alert the administrator if a video game is accessing private files that it should not be accessing. Okay, so no matter what type of IDS you choose, the underlying function is similar. You will use passive technology to detect an intrusion. When something is found suspicious, you will get an alert about it. Pretty straightforward. All right, now IDS can also be categorized based on how they identify potential threats. Signature-based IDS uses a library of signatures of known threats to identify them. It is similar to antivirus software. Anomaly-based IDS builds a model of normal behavior of the protected system and reports on any suspicious activity. Finally, hybrid system uses both methods to identify potential threats. Anomaly-based systems are typically more useful than signature-based because they are better at detecting new and unrecognized attacks. IPS Intrusion Prevention System is an active monitoring system that protects the company's network from malicious attacks. IPS not only raises an alert, but it also helps to prevent the intrusion from happening. For example, when IPS identifies potential threats based on monitoring features of a protected host or network, it proactively takes an action to stop the malicious traffic from entering the network. When IPS detects a threat, it drops the danger or puts it in a separate place such as quarantine. Like IDS, IPS can use signature-based, anomaly-based or hybrid threat detection methods. IPS can be host-based, network-based, wireless-based and network behavior. IPS and IDS are not required to be separate devices. They can be integrated into one physical device such as next generation firewalls and UMT. Unified Threat Management Technology combines the functionality of both IPS and IDS into a single device. What are the key differences? IDS is designed to detect a potential threat, create an alert and do nothing to prevent the attack from occurring. That leaves a window for an attacker to cause damage to a target system. IPS on the other hand is designed to take action to block anything that it believes to be a threat to the protected system. IDS requires a man or another system to look at the results and determine what actions to take next. On the other hand, the purpose of IPS is to catch dangerous packets and drop them before they reach their target. Alright, so this wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.